I'm an Englishman and I love Scotland and Wales and Northern Ireland. I love being British. Our union has taken four distinct nations and bound them together as one family with common values, hopes and dreams. Together we have achieved far more than any one of us could have hoped to do alone. The accusation is that the unionist campaign has been negative and has failed to present the positive message that Scotland deserves to hear. In my mind, the Union is an overwhelmingly positive force for good, both within the British Isles and around the world. It has been the most successful political union in human history and can continue to be so. The message has been for years that Britain is no longer great, that we have become an irrelevance, nipping at the heels of China and Russia whilst clinging to America for status. That message is so wrong. Over the last 300 years, we have worked together and built ourselves to be a major global power, and we have maintained that position. Barely nine months ago, European Geostrategy ranked the United Kingdom as the second most powerful country on the planet. They calculated this by rating our cities, our universities, our companies, diplomatic influence, soft power and many other factors, as well as our economy and military strength. The facts show that Britain is a major world power that is capable of more than holding its own. Now, my first point is that whilst we are not America, our military is one of the most capable in the world and has the proudest history. Scottish, English, Welsh and Irish soldiers have lived, fought and died side by side facing our common foes so that we can maintain our freedom. We can have this debate because every single time a foreign power has tried to invade our islands we have defeated them together. Far more Scottish blood has been shed fighting against the UK's common enemies than it ever was in wars against the English. If Scotland leaves the Union they will lose the protection that the British military affords to every one of its citizens at home and abroad. No matter where a British citizen is in the world, the armed forces of this United Kingdom stand ready to protect them. The Scottish people need to ask themselves if they really want to lose the security afforded by one of the, most, the world's most powerful navies, Europe's largest air force, its best trained army and most capable special forces. We are stronger together. It is why Napoleon couldn't defeat us, it's why Hitler couldn't defeat us, and it will be what keeps us safe far into the future with just a little bit of luck. Now to the economy. We are the economic powers of Europe without a doubt. Forget Germany and France for a moment, we have the sixth biggest economy in the world and the highest growth of any Western economy, outstripping Germany, France and America. As Europe and America are slowing down, we are speeding up and in the next few years we will overtake France to be the biggest economy in Europe and then Germany barely two decades after that. It will only be possible if we continue to work together. There are problems, wages are not where they should be and house prices are too high. But we can overcome these problems together. We can overcome them by maintaining the vibrant and ferocious melting pot of creativity that is the United Kingdom. This is, after all, the country that gave the world the Industrial Revolution and the Internet. I have no doubt that in the long run Scotland will have a healthy economy, but in the short term the nationalists have failed to set out a practical vision. Salmond has avoided the question of currency because he does not have an answer. He is refusing to take Scotland's fair share of the national debt because he knows that Scotland will be left with a much weaker economy than it has now and one that will struggle to borrow money and pay for the current level of public expenditure, never mind increased benefits as Salmond has promised to do. Credit Suisse has predicted Scotland would fall into what they called a deep recession and to restore competitiveness the oil economy would have to devalue between about 10 and 20 percent, which would necess necessitate a 5 to 10 fall in wages and increased unemployment. At the moment the UK economy is storming ahead of its competitors and maybe you believe that this is because of the government or maybe like me you believe that it's down to hard-working imaginative individuals, companies and communities that work together. The world is getting smaller and far closer. Now is not the time to be putting up more barriers and creating new divisions. But it's not just the economy and military power that makes a country great. The values of the people count for so much more. Britain is a just and moral society that values freedom and liberty and doing what's right. It was here that the modern understanding of rights and freedom were developed and they developed and were encouraged and were promoted not just by English thinkers but by people from all four corners of the United Kingdom, especially Scotland. It is this country that consistently provides more than its fair share of aid to troubled places. We are at the forefront of LGBT rights and promote them around the world. The UK was the first country to ban the slave trade but we didn't just stop there with banning it in our own country, we then made sure other people did the same by sending the Royal Navy out and by paying countries like Portugal to stop slave trading. We don't do things in this country to satisfy our vanity or just because we maybe have material reward at the end of it. We do them because it's right. This is the country that pulled together to defeat Nazi Germany when it invaded Poland. We protected South Korea against the North and Chairman Mao's China. 
We intervened in Sierra Leone and Mali and Kuwait and Libya and Kosovo and we are now aiding those people ISIS wishes to commit genocide against. We don't do this because in some situations Britons have threatened or because that we could get some run over on somebody else. We did it because it's the right thing to do. Ronald Reagan once said that freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. And he was right. Freedom has to be defended and reinvented and consistently promoted. And the best way that that can happen is for Scotland to remain an active member of the United Kingdom. The world is a very uncertain place at the moment and it needs countries like the United Kingdom that are willing to stand up for the little man. The narrative of this union does not belong to Alex Salmond or the Prime Minister or Red Miliband. It belongs to the people of this country that have written the story. People face having to make a choice between a union which has afforded prosperity and security and an independent Scotland which we know will have le be less well defended and have a weaker economy. A weaker economy that will not allow for unlimited welfare spending. Scotland won't be able to afford spectacles on the same scale as the Jubilee or the Olympics that made me so proud to be British. Scotland will be more prosperous, it will be safer, it will be more able to take care of the needs of this world as a part of the United Kingdom. Now, I don't make videos as a hobby or give speeches for fun, and as you can probably tell, I'm not even a very good speaker. I'm just an ordinary person who cares about his country. I don't have a vote in this referendum, which is right, because this is a question only the Scottish can answer. But this is a question that affects me. It will decide who I am. It will decide what kind of country I grow old in. I hope everyone who can vote on September the 18th does so, and that they will vote no. The United Kingdom has achieved so much, and it offers its members so many opportunities. Our history is absolutely amazing, and the future can be even better if we work towards it together. Thank you.